Hello everybody, welcome again to another episode of Chinese for Business People. My name is Nana Kwame Jainfi. In the previous episode, we broke down the words resume, secretary, where we learned how they come about, form sentences with them as well. The first word in this episode is manager. We have come across the word manager and it's Jin Li. Jin Li, what we don't know is how this word came about. Jin Li, right? Jing here means to pass through to pass through and li li is truth or logic truth or logic now you may be wondering how 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 is this manager how the manager aside everything else goes through the the whole truth of the business whether good or bad so that he or she knows how best to run the business, how best to push the business or take the business forward. The sentence here, with the word Jing Li, the sentence here is, I want to meet the manager. Now, this is the same sentence we use when we introduce the word manager. We are going to use it again. I want to meet the manager. 我想见Jing-Li. 我想见Jing-Li. I want to meet the manager. Our second word here is department, department, boo, men, boo, men, boo, men. Now the word boo is section or department or unit, boo, and men is door or gate, door or gate. So these two words literally, I believe, will mean the gate to a particular section or the gate to a particular unit. And the best way to describe this is what? Department. So the gate to a particular unit of a business will be the department. So a department is boo men, boo men. So our sentence here would be, how many departments does your company have? How many departments does your company have? Need a gong sir, your jig, boo men. Need a gong sir, your jig, boo men. Now G. Here, jig means how many? G, when you're asking how many, use G. I know we've studied door shall, but in some sentences you don't use door shall, in some sentences you use G. We are going to learn the difference between both. Need a gong sir, your jig, boo, man. Now the next word is boss, boss, lao, ban. Lao ban, lao ban, boss. The word lao means old, old, and ban is employer. Ban is employer. Literally, an old employer. An old employer. It's assumed that an owner of a company is an older man or woman. It's clearly not the case these days. Shout outs to our young CEOs. Keep working hard and keep doing a great job employing the youth and god bless you all the sentence here is i am the boss i am the boss wo shi lao ban wo shi lao ban wo is i shi is to be or is and lao ban lao ban is boss so i am the boss we have come to the end of this episode and in the next episode, we take some other words and break them down. You can review this on our YouTube channel, Anetutvgh, or on our website, Anetutvgh.com. My name is Nana Kwame Jenfi. Have a wonderful day and stay safe.